Hey, Bjorn Strong in the arm here. Welcome back to the Rim of Circle Town, where uh, between episodes, I took a little bit of time to draw out what I thought would be a nice kind of circular perimeter around this town that we will get to uh, building here eventually in the not too distant future. And I guess I missed a notification last time or something, or maybe it happened like right after I stopped recording, but we got another Muffalo tamed as well. So we need to go to our animals tab and put Muffalo number two here in the pasture as well. Now, I guess that's because I was selecting it. Um, and also before you really get going, I have installed uh, a number of other mods based on suggestions that have been given. Uh, it's a long list. I am not going to try to go through all of them. Some of them are in new tabs down here. One of them is a, just a nice little mod that tells you what other mods um, kind of give you something. Like So you see here, I scroll over the numbers tab. It says numbers in brackets. That says what kind of mod that it's from. So that's kind of handy. Uh, so you can see what other things uh, are going on. I'll, I'll just mention a couple really quick. One is called the uh, RPG style inventory mod, which gives a nice, a much better, I think, gear. You can see a lot better what exactly people are and aren't wearing. So if we go like to Nico, you can see his helmet there, his armor over top of his regular clothes, and then you can do the force drop and all that. You can change it back into list mode, but then you can go here, which is nice. Uh, a couple other ones, there's the pharmacist mod, which I think is really useful. It's morning, I'll slow down again. So this just lets us give a little bit of control for our general kind of settings. So the way it's set up, you see here for minor wounds, we just give uh, herbal medicine. For major wounds, we give industrial medicine and then for life-threatening or surgical rooms we give if we have it glitter world medicine because we don't have it but if we had it like that's how high it goes and then that's really sensible so we're not like wasting our good medicine on bruises and things like that but also at the same time we're not um we're not uh having to switch medicine back and forth all the time for the different kinds of things that are getting done now snake what are you up to you're you're hauling some of this stuff, which is really good. A lot of the mods that we've added at this uh, stage, it froze for a second. Why are we frozen? Okay. Um, huh. I guess it was just a, a freeze as, as they were leaving. I do think I'm going to uninstall the hospitality mod. I think it's... Well, I don't know if it's OP or not, but it, I'm just not really excited about it very much. Um, so there's that. Anyway, back to the plans. So I built this. My idea is we'll eventually want like a double perimeter around here with kind of one area for uh, in, intro and exit sort of thing. And then in the rest of the perimeter, we can put... Um, uh, we can't make them yet, but turrets. And at least it used to be, I hope it still is, that then uh, sappers won't want to come through there if there's turrets that are on. Now, also, right now I have it so it's really easy to see in the planning that the opacity is kind of really dark. But if we go back a lot lighter, it's not nearly so ugly. I do want to turn it off, I think, from time to time. Um, but it's not kind of too bad at this stage. Now, are we out of sandstone blocks? It looks like we are. So if we can find some more sandstone to move. Looks like this, let's just do a little bit of it. Maybe this, no, no, no. This sandstone here, we'll haul that. So we'll finish up those blocks and get that into here. But in addition to getting this worked up, I, we really need to be watching our food and our meals. Uh, our corn has been planted, we've got the rice planted as well. Yakov is working on this, on the stone. So all that's pretty good. Electricity is starting to go up, though it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to build a second, um, second one of these solar generators over here. And then I was trying to think, I talked last time about putting in some um, some wind generators, and I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to put them. But one place I could put them would be right here, kind of in between uh, where the two new the two walls are going to be in this kind of no man's land area. Oh, a boomalope has self-tamed. 
we're gonna give the boomalope a different kind of area uh, so actually we have to manage our areas first which is a restriction so the new area will be we'll call it the boomalope pasture and we want it not too close to other things because the thing about boomalopes is that they go boom. That is kind of where they get their name from. Where would be a good place for it? Let's, uh, maybe up here. Well, actually, I think kind of maybe up here. It's not super convenient, actually up here. But if a fire comes, it's going to be a little bit of a time before it's going to be able to kind of, like if they blow up and, and there's a fire, it'll be about a time before they really make a problem elsewhere and then one thing that's nice about that is then the boomalope can be milked for uh chem fuel i think and if that's right we could actually replace this with a chem fuel um generator instead and kind of use that now one of the mods just it gives this kind of how much how grown things are so we'll allow for that as well. But what do we want to get started on next? Oh, so back here, I was, say well, I was saying, I don't know I want to do this. I'm not going to do it right now. I my power situation is still pretty low. But what I was thinking is that we could put a couple of wind turbines kind of like, like one, like this. It'll be in kind of in the... In the space between uh, the two walls and another kind of up like this. And then we can make the rest of the area around there the pasture for the boomalopes. And we could even make it like a dandelion field or something so trees won't grow there to block the kind of area for the, um, for the, the wind turbine. Now, something I keep saying I need to do but not doing. Oh, geez. Nico has the flu. Which is not cool. So Nico's gonna come and rest. We're gonna have medical is gonna get. Uh, we'll just do that for everything. But I think I, I hopefully that'll be overridden. I don't know if those settings get overridden actually by the pharmacist tab or not. That's something I should have checked out. Um, Im immunity is going up. Uh, I don't know how worried I am just now. It's flu still above the immunity. Actually, now it's about matched. So I think, fingers crossed, we're not going to lose Nico due to the flu. But what I wanted to do is, if I have some extra trousers around here, I kind of don't, though. That is a bit of a problem. Well, I think I... T did, I just, did I dream this? Did I talk last time about making, in the production, making a hand tailor bench? Which I'll put right there and yes we'll have an outdoor speed I'll make a pair of pants and have nico wear those and we'll get rid of all of his armor and we'll give it to i think cat along with who's got a decent kind of fighting ability but one thing i think we're gonna have to do is get some more weapons also pretty quickly we're low on weapons we haven't any other raids and so I'm just a little worried. I'd like some more firearms. That's just one thing that I am missing and not terribly excited about either. This is built, so let's go ahead. I just want to make one pair of uh, trousers. And I think, Snake, are you going to do that right away? It looks like you are. And someone needs to treat Nico, and I thought it'll have to be Yakov. So I would like you to do that in the middle of the night here because... Immunity is above it, but it's it's close enough. Those are close enough together that I do worry about that a little bit. But once, okay, the pants are done. And so, yeah, we'll let that go. And let's see, where are we on research? So we're doing, uh, let's speed it up. We're doing fuses now then sterile materials, then microelectronics. And when it comes to sterile materials, we're gonna need some silver. That's plasteel, which is super valuable stuff. I haven't really checked the map to see if there's any silver that's actually mineable. 
Uh, unless that's been changed, or unless my memory is really terrible, which it is a terrible memory, so I don't even know why I said unless there. But I do think there can be sometimes mineable silver. But that's going to be the real issue, is having enough silver to actually put down some... Actually put down some... Um, I'm looking for words, and I got a ma manhunter pack. Anyway, some some sterile stuff. So a manhunter pack uh, of alpacas, and by pack I guess they mean one alpaca. So we have a yeah, we have an alpaca. Nico, I just want you to unequip all this stuff right away. And yeah, you'll have no pants, and you'll be upset for a while. And Kat, as soon as Nico does that, I want you to come wear all that stuff. Wait, Nico. I get see. I'm queuing all these drops up. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Okay, Cat. Now I want you to wear that. Now where the manhunter looks like he's coming that way. So Snake and uh, Yakov, for starters, will um, get the two of you to bring you to here. Okay, that's working. Cat, still getting you equipped. So okay, Yakov, you're in front. Snake, you come to. Yeah, I think that's pretty good actually. I just don't. Yakov, actually, you come to about here. Just so we're doing this in a way. And now, maybe Yakov, you can kite him a little bit. And then Cat, you can come just attack him. Okay, he's dead. So that's nice. And Snake, you go back to bed. Everybody else, you're unloading your inventory. What is in your inventory? doesn't actually say what you're carrying. Maybe it's the rice? I'm not sure. Let's just see. Oh, you're going to pick him up. Okay. Well, that alpaca should help a little bit also with our food problem, which is a problem. But we, I do want to do some more hunting. So wildlife, some gazelle. That, oh, that would, I think there is a decent amount of food on them. That would be nice anyway. So let's hunt a bunch of those. Actually, I don't know if there's a ton, but I'm just going to hope. Hope that those are uh, good food supply suppliers. And we got our boomalope up there doing fine. Uh, Nico needs treatment. And I can unforbid. I don't know. what Nico, what are you wearing? You have pigskin pants. Oh, uh, that's because Cat never wore your flak pants and then your health your immunity is above but it's actually kind of close which is not lovely and maybe brian do you actually want to wear a shirt i can imagine you maybe wanting to wear a shirt you know so we'll add a bill for a t-shirt out of like whatever as well Anyway, and then, let's see, we were going to make this into a hospital. I sort of don't really want to do that until, until we get, I don't know. Okay, our, this is interesting. This powers all the way up. Let's, I want to do two things. I want to turn off uh, this switch, and I want to turn off this switch and just then see uh, let's see what that is in a second how these two are going to do with the power just what we have right here where this is like it's our backup power and cargo pods some psychite tea I mean I guess maybe what I could do is actually take that stuff uh, and maybe that jade and go in a little caravan with my muff well maybe or maybe not with my muffalo to just to like the nearest town where we could see if we could buy some 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 uh more guns because i i don't know i like i like shooting things more than 
more than I like um, stabbing them. I guess I'm just not up up close and personal that way. I'm kind of a distance person. Okay, Brian is working on food. We're up to 30 now, which is nice. I like that. There's still... What is going on here? So, in the refrigerator, there's a meal. But we said no meals. So why is that meal there? Um... Okay, who has... Two of our colonists are now sick from malaria. Snake and Nico. Great. That's great. Uh, wonderful. What is our supply? Two and 18. I think, if I remember right, part of the problem with malaria is that it takes a long time. Um... Okay, Nico also has the flu, so he's really not doing well. And I think Yakov can go ahead and doctor, right? Yeah, Yakov can doctor. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just um, pick some heal root plants to harvest. It would just be good to have more heal root. As well as we're doing, as we're dealing with this, because I think that's gonna just really grind through our medicine, which kind of sucks. And that means everything's just gonna slow down for a bit as these guys are getting tended to with their malaria. So, uh, hopefully, you'll tended to for your malaria here in a minute. Okay. Ugh. Well, so much for going on a little adventure. That's going to really put a crimp in those plans. I think that's also going to pause our research for a while. Is that right? Um, we, our research was being done, yeah, by Nico. Yakov, too. But Yakov has so much other stuff he's got to do before he gets that far. That I just think it's going to be a while. Um, and I hope that Yakov doesn't get pick up some sickness from... Uh, snake either so if brian working on the food when it comes to hunting snake can hunt actually no is it both of our hunters no yakov can hunt but he's not gonna have time for that um brian can you cut plants you um well you can i have to allow you to do this for right now or it's not going to get done. Or maybe... Well, yeah, I'll do both that and growing. So, and actually, let me look at your work, Brian. Is there anything else you're going to do first? I mean, entertain and warden. And then just the basic stuff. So, uh, hopefully, Brian, in the morning at least, will come and start working on uh, the harvest. It's not quite harvest time. Nico's really unhappy, and I don't really blame him. Um, he's sick. Actually, Yakov, you should treat him. He's got malaria, man. And the flu. I guess the flu is... His immunity's a bit higher, but it's not amazing. Yeah, okay, I get that Yakov... He's been busy. He's been busy. Hopefully he's getting enough sleep, too. Okay, I have to wait this out, I think. Uh, I mean, we can we can schedule some other stuff, but really, at this point, the priority is an expansion. It's just keep keeping on the food and keeping on the tending, and that's going to keep us pretty busy. And I guess Cat, what is Cat actually going to be doing all this time? Not a lot. I actually don't think it would be a terrible idea to put in a sculptor table. And let Cat work on this, some sculpting. I'm trying to make it kind of even. Let me put it there. We are going to put a wall here eventually and doors and stuff. But just even just building that. Um, and then Cat can make us a couple of, uh, couple of statues. But it might, just some small ones, it might be good. Ah, jeez. And now our, our dudes are going to be unhappy. Yakov, um, when you're done with that, you're going to tend to people, right? 
No, Yakov tent. Uh oh, Nico's doing the tending. Well, Nico, how are you feeling, man? You should be. I guess you're all tended. Your immunity's doing well. The flu, you're getting better. I mean, okay, you're doing the right sort of stuff, but this is this is not what we wanted. We will cut these plants. And then it was pointed out, this is kind of worthless here. So we can deconstruct that. Are you kidding? Nico! What? And these things are the worst. And I think these things aren't actually... Okay, I'm going to switch him to that kind of medicine. Because it's not life-threatening at all. And maybe the pharmacist will sort that out. I'm really not sure. Um, he's not going to be able... I guess I'm worried it's going to slow down his flu and malaria immunity. Like, those have got to stay up. So, oh, man. Um, Yakov, actually, how are your needs? Your... Disturbed sleep, awful bedroom. I guess Nico, he doesn't need to have those me mechanites. Oh, of course. Of course, we had our first zit. Okay, so these, okay, good. So these have been discharged. So what we do is we'll just, that's exactly what we did this. Um, turn that back on. But then, yeah, Snake is already on it. Sneeko, you sleep. Cat, Brian, and Yakov, you gotta go take care of that fire stat. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay, yeah, as long as he got up, Yakov's gonna go ahead and take care of uh, these as well. This will be a lower quality probably just because it was done with the, the lower quality uh, medicine. So, okay. Gosh. But we're keeping things cold. So that good on us there. This is back to the meat, which is good. Snake, she says she needs treatment for her malaria. But it's 72 to 50. I think she's going to be okay. Boy. But poor Nico. All right, I did put this in. Let's... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to make Nico's life a little bit better. We'll make, I don't know, maybe three small sculptures out of... Just out of stone. Yeah, Cat is working on that. Oh, jeez. Okay. I heard the explosion. I thought it was another uh, buzz. But it was just more of these. I'll deconstruct these things, I think, later when I'm more bored. Actually, do they deteriorate i thought there was more around they do wait it doesn't say the deteriorate maybe i just deconstructed a bunch and forgot or maybe i'm just imagining things i don't know I, my, my my i feel like i'm losing my mind and the capacity to refugee quest mcgee contacts you and requests help he's wounded and able to move without your help he'll die in seven days He's a 62-year-old sheriff. He promises to join you if you rescue him. The problem is, I think I remember sheriffs. I think they're totally useless. He says he has two turrets and one enemy defend the site. Let's check this place out, at least. Okay, uh, it's actually not that far. Be less than a day to get there. Our animals can graze. So, who would I take though? This is the issue. Snake. I can take Yakov and Cat and leave. Well, then no one's around to ten Nico though. I could take Brian. He has no weapon. Um, I could have Cat give him the stuff. Give him, like, the armor and stuff. Oh, man. Took the quest again. Two turrets and one enemy. I'm going to wait definitely until Snake is... Uh, at least Snake is better. 
and then I'll rethink about that and how I want to do it. What I might actually do, I like the cat is doing that, but I might want him... Gosh, I'm not sure. I'm just thinking maybe I want him to not do a lot of, like, do a lot of... Wait, Nico's at risk of death? Why is he at risk of death? His immunity is 72. Oh, it's because his flu, I bet, is at 83. But his his immunity is at 93, so I'm pretty sure he's going to beat it. But I will just keep an eye on it, just to be on the safe side. If his flu starts going... Uh, his flu's going a little faster now than his immunity. But he's at 95... I can't imagine that he's not going to make it, to be honest. Just can't imagine. It's 96. Yeah, it's just four more. But the problem is, I think probably the, the fibrous mechanites are also... Um, wait, who needs treatment? Snake? Uh, it's two hours till it expires. It's just at 97% immunity. So animal starvation... Why is the boomalope starving? Uh, let's see. Does it tell me what it eats? It eats vegetables, seeds, live plants. Okay, just maybe no one's tending to it. Or maybe it doesn't graze. Or maybe it's grazed everything out. I bet it's grazed everything. Well, there's a little bit there. Let me just see what exactly its area uh, looks like. Let me expand it so it covers that as well. But I'm a little bit surprised. I'm also going to make a bit of a growing zone and uh, put in dandelions. And then he can graze on those too. Okay, no longer a medical emergency. So Nico must have reached immunity. And his malaria is at 83. But I do think the fibrous mechanites will like... Kind of slow him down on that. Now, what I was going to say... Now, do we actually make a statue? We did. Let's install this. Actually, it's a small sculpture. It's normal. Let's read it, actually. It bears a representation of an abstracted rendering of thrusting. There's a hippopotamus beneath the main subject. Huh. The classical style of the central scene clashes with a pixelated depiction of the background. Well... It's a statue. Let's install it here in uh, Nico's room. And my thought is that making it his room a little bit nicer while he's sick. And he might be sick an awful lot. So that seems like it could be a good idea. And uh, our meals are getting better than they were. That's also good. Boomalope seems to no longer be starving. I don't know if that's because it's grazing. I don't think it is grazing. But snakes back up. So with snake back up, I feel like we could do a few more building projects again. Um, okay, there's no more trees down there to cut. Oh, there's a bulk goods trader. Okay, good. And actually, uh, do I have a trading spot? I think that I do not have a trading spot. I have a caravan packing spot. So I tried to make it install the trading spot mod and it said it, I had like the wrong version. So anyway, um, and again, let's just check these guys out with their bios. So, why is there an up there? Yakov, <laughs> barely heard of it. I don't know why there's that little up thing there, but uh, Brian, you'd be good. Come and uh, deal with these guys. See if there's anything they have that we want or vice versa. So, we do have a small sandstone sculpture we could sell them, but this is all their stuff. I don't see any weapons, sadly. Don't see that. I guess they are bulk traders. 
but yeah, I don't want these. I don't think I want their animals. Um, we could buy their meats, and it wouldn't be a stupid thing to do. Or a bunch of their corn. I mean, what if I bought a hundred of their corn? That'd be 136 they're going to want for that. Which, I could get rid of my... I mean, it's always a good idea to get rid of my low amount leathers and things like that, that I won't have a lot of. My Psychic Tea, I'd be happy to get rid of that, and that's worth a pretty penny. Um, I don't, I'm going to keep the Sculpture. And I don't want, sadly, my Jade, which I'd happily sell to them. Or my Nice Medicine. When I get 186, a bit more silver, so when I have the... The good, clean floors, I can put that in so that seems that seems good to me that seems good I'm gonna go with that get a bit of silver out of the deal and a bunch of corn which we can then use and this filled back up really fast so I'm gonna go ahead and toggle this uh, off again but then I'm gonna have to think I want to get some power up to here I'm gonna think am I gonna want it just get it off these two or should I get its own kind of power supply I think I'm gonna get its own power supply up here. And then I have a decision about how I wanna do that. So, let's see, I'm just thinking out loud. Here's what I think I might wanna do, is make a circle kinda of like that. Well, I don't know if I want a circle. I, I think it's some putting, putting some, like a, a grid or something of solar generators in here. And these each, they're what, four by four, it looks like. So if I put in some four by four squares. See, that's a little bit off center. So I don't quite like that. Let's, uh... All right, there we go. Okay. Um, two pirates from the Miles outfit are uh, chasing a chef. I would like a chef. So let's offer safety to this dude. We also have an Ambrosia sprout. So we'll be if we wait for it to grow, we'll be able to uh, deal with that. That's fine. Let's have Snake, Yakov, and Cat all come for a little bit of a showdown. It's right there. Let's come. To, let's start by moving them to there. See where exactly they're going to enter. But I'm sure it's going to be following Thrall. There they are, and they got a club and a knife. So if all goes according to plan, so I'm going to. I assume they're going to path in a very similar way. Yeah, our first raid. It's about time too. I was starting to get worried that Randy had forgotten us. They don't have any ranged weapons, so I don't really need to worry about, um... I don't need to worry about cover for this. So I can kind of just... Oh, they're gonna... He's gonna... Okay, I was worried for a second he was gonna split around. But he didn't. Um, her right hand's been hit. And with Cat right there... I think... I think that means that, um... He's safe from friendly fire. That cat. Okay, he's dead. This one's gonna flee, but we are not gonna allow that. Ooh, a headshot. Like that. Just... Okay, now cat has a bruise. Alright, two dead bodies. So, we're gonna... Strip them... We're gonna unforbid the stuff they've dropped. Got some more weapons. Excited about that. We have a caravan request. They want six button-down, not tainted shirts. For which they're gonna add a uranium hospital bed and a jade animal sleeping box. I mean, that's a good trade. But. 1.8 days. In, uh... 
Bababar. Gosh, I don't know what I think about that. I'm going to leave Ambrosia Sprout up so I don't forget it kind of next time. I'm going to un... Uh, ungrab you guys and I do want everyone to haul actually let's keep with the current AI I want to see how exactly that works he's going to pick up all that stuff to haul it so at least anybody else could have done it Yakov's going to strip and haul this one's going to wait and I guess we should also dig some graves it's time to bury the dead for these ones Let's put them down here. So I think they're in Misk, right? They are indeed. So the graves of our enemies, which we can later dance on. But okay, we have uh, Thal who will have a name change and we will get to meet uh, next time. And we should probably make a bedroom for that dude as well. In fact, we'll, for right now, what we'll do is we'll um, make this not for guests and we'll reinstall it. So let's see, one, two, three, there. So that can be for uh, Thal as he gets here. But that, I am afraid, is all the time we have for today. So thanks as always so much for watching. I'll see you soon.